running miles on the track, boy. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Ricky again. Now today we are going to go ahead and discuss one of the best strategies which every punter likes to play that is lay the draw. Now there are many concepts of lay the draw which you will find in many YouTube channels. There are people who believe in only second half laying the draw because it has most amount of profits and many people they believe in first half draw only they believe in that type of game have much amount of profit well my concept of lay the draw is totally different yes i do play second half draw lay those are different criteria but the draw the lay which i'm going to go ahead and show you today it is basically from the start of the game so what we are doing is we are finding games where the draw odds are five or below that is the first criteria which it has to match so for example let's take the upcoming week games and let's go to our best uh, premier league um okay epl okay now <clears throat> let's go to fixtures now what you need to do is you need to go to the standings first now epl is a 20 you know team playing in one league so what you need to do is you need to divide the table into three halves that means how can i divide 20 teams into three halves so i take the first seven team then the next six team and then the last seven teams so seven seven fourteen and the middle six team it consists of 20 teams so this is how i'm dividing the table now in case of bundesliga there are you know 18 teams only which pay, play the league so in that case i will divide it in six 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 teams in each uh, top table middle table and lower table in the same way if we go to you know champions league i will show it to you in the bundesliga how does it happen in standings if you go you will see there are 18 teams so i will divide it into six 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 so in the same way if we go to championship english english championship there are 24 teams which plays so in that thing uh, we will go ahead and divide into 8 8 8 so 8 in the top table 8 in the middle table 8 in the last table so this is how we divide the teams now first criteria i have already told you that in the lay the draw at least it should be five or below do not play games which are more than five or above then that game wait for the second half if there is a chance go the draw lay the draw at the second half do not go for more than five rate uh, in the first half because ultimately you will be in loss because you will not gain much of profit so we i don't want you to do that so five is the correct criteria for this uh, you know draw odds now let's go to fixtures for the next tpl now the one which game i can find over here is chelsea and crystal palace now if i check the standings you can see chelsea is at the top seven team and crystal palace in, is in the bottom seven team so this is my second criteria so this match select got, get selected for the lay the draw now i have to check what is the draw rate so basically if you can see it's chelsea versus you know as you can see over here it's chelsea versus crystal palace if you check the standings over here again i'm showing it to you chelsea is in seven and crystal palace in the bottom seven that is they are in 16. now i have to go ahead and check what is the rate of the draw of chelsea and you know crystal palace let me check you might not be getting that on the screen but i will tell you what is the rate um, you can check it yourself as well the game is next week on first <coughs> Crystal Palace and Chelsea, the draw rate is 3.60. I just checked myself. You can check it as well. 3.60, it is going around 3.60 to 3.80 like that. So it perfectly fits our criteria. So we can lay the draw from the very start of the game. It doesn't matter the strong team is away or home. If they are at the top table, playing the bottom table, you can always lay the draw from the start okay i'm not saying you will win every match but your winning ratio will be more now 
there are some exit strategy which you need to know because if you're playing the lay the draw from the start you must follow some exit strategies which are more important because if you do not follow the exit strategies you won't be able to earn a go good amount of money so in the same way you have understood the criteria let's select a bundesliga game i can see a game over here let's go to fixtures I can see over a game over here Hoffenheim. I know Hoffenheim is at the top table. So let's go to Stam Hoffenheim versus Hertha Berlin. So Hoffenheim you can see they are at top 4. And Hertha Berlin is in the bottom 6. So we can play this game. And I will check the lay the draw. You might not be able to see this. But I will let you know the rate of that. And that is 3.75. That is the rate. That is 3.75 is the draw lay rate. We can easily go ahead and lay the draw of this game as well. Now, this is the criteria which you need to go ahead. Now, there are many leagues. Only play in major leagues. I will suggest English Premier League, Championship, Bundesliga, Bundesliga 2. I will suggest French League 1 only, Italian Serie A only, Spanish La Liga only. Belgium Jupiter Pro League only and you can also go for Switzerland Super League only and you can go with Denmark Super League and the Netherlands First Division that is the Eredivis where Ajax and everyone plays so these are the leagues which you can go ahead and target for these games okay you can select every week what are the games which are there now what are the exit and en entry and exit strategies I'm letting you know because that is the most important thing if you go to championship as well there are some selections in the champion for example I know there is a game next week for Norwich and Norwich <coughs> are at the top table so for example if I check the fixture of Norwich you can see Norwich is playing Blackpool okay next week so if I check the standings as there are 24 teams so I am t showing you Bundesliga was a six team each on each you know top table middle table and one. now this is championship it has 24 teams so it will be divided into eight in each half so Norwich at the top table and Norwich are playing Blackpool so Blackpool is at the bottom eight so we and the draw lay rate if i want to go ahead and i will let you know the draw you uh, draw ray late as a uh, rate as well i'm sorry uh, let's see you can check it from your end as well you might not be able to see that uh, the draw ray uh, lay rate is 3.40 so you can lay the draw for this game as well you don't have to go ahead and check but yes one thing which you need to check is you need to make sure that the last head to head match of this team is not zero zero if the last head only check the last head to head match head to head match not with any other team team which they're playing against that should not be a zero zero you have to make sure of that okay now what are the entry and exit strategies let's go ahead and get discussed i hope you have understood the criteria so the draw lay the draw rate should be five or below top table team should be playing lower level team lower level team uh, you know lower table team doesn't matter it's home or away you can lay the draw at, at any point of time and you have to make sure that the last head to head was not zero zero you have to make sure of that now what are the entry and exit strategies now so as i have told you draw rate should be five or below the first uh, uh you know the criteria which you have to go ahead and consider then the second criteria is that top table team versus bottom table team i have shown you how to divide the team into three halves 18 18 team league should be divided by 6 20 teams 7 6 7 and 24 teams is 8 8 8 this is how you divide the teams okay now check their last head to head it should not be a zero zero okay then you can go ahead and lay the draw from the very start of the game now how do you exit now if strong team scores uh, you stay in the market till half time okay <clears throat> that means if not, suppose if we take this Norwich versus Blackpool game over here this one now Norwich is a strong team they are a way team but they are a strong player. or for example take the Chelsea match uh, let make make it the Chelsea match so that it will be under because Premier League has been followed all over the world so many people understand this better 
let's take the chelsea versus crystal palace match this match okay now strong team is chelsea chelsea scores the goal okay now once chelsea scored the goal at first half you can go ahead and stay in the market till half time if the score is 1-0 to chelsea okay you go ahead and cash out this 0 1 I have written over here if Chelsea was playing away. So, this case scenario Chelsea is playing away. So, if the score is 0 1 to Chelsea, so if the strong team is leading by one goal, stay till half time in the market. Do not cash out immediately. Stay till half time, then cash out from the market. You will be in profit. Okay. Now, if strong team scores 2 0, for example, 0 2 because Chelsea is playing away. Uh, before half time if they score 2 0 before half time hold the bet do not cash out if in second half chelsea scores again 3 0 that means we are going for the full full profit we do not have to you know even cash out we know that chelsea are going to win that match eventually 90 to 9 percent of the time they will win it okay now in case if the underdog scores suppose the score is 2 0 now if the underdog scores one goal what will you do you will then go ahead and cash out that means there's a high chances that the match can go into a draw by going to 2-2 because our limit is 75 minutes after 75 minutes if the match is draw we will be in a big loss we do not want that to happen so if the goal is 2-1 to chelsea and uh, before 75 minutes then at the second half if crystal palace comes up with a goal we cash out because chelsea will be leading till that point of time so you will be in profit now, in case if Chelsea scores three goal, then you stay in the market, uh, you know, preferably thinking that you will win the whole stake. Now, Ch Crystal Palace scores one goal after three. Still stay in the market. There is not an issue. Now, Crystal Palace score another goal, 3-2. Then get out of the market. Do not take any risk. Okay? So, this is how the thing goes for the strong team. Now, let's go to the other scenarios. If underdog scores first goal, so for example, over here underdog is Crystal Palace playing at home. Now underdog scores one goal before half time. Okay, so we hold the bet, hoping that strong team will come back with two one. So for example, Crystal Palace one zero of half time before seventy five minutes. If Chelsea goes to two one, we get out of the market with a good profit. At any point of time, whenever Chelsea goes into lead in the second half, we can go get out of with good profit okay now in case we at 75 minutes they score at 60 that is 1 1 now at 75 minutes the odd will be around 180 to 2 or it might be higher okay but at 75 minutes you need to take the loss and you need to leave the market you cannot be in hope that chelsea will be scoring a goal after 75 minutes it, they might score i'm not saying that they cannot score it can english premier league is you know uh, famous for you know uh, you know uh, you know late goals so they might score i'm not saying that but you get out of this strategy you take the loss you take a cash out of loss from the market you don't have to deal with the market now if you're expecting chelsea we score a goal you back a goal and do a different bet but you get out of this leather draw market you do not stay in this market anymore in the same way if underdog scores two goals before half time you immediately cash out you will be in good profit if underdog scores two goals before half time so the profit margin will be good and you can go ahead and cash out because see basically laying the draw means you're favoring the you know favorite to score now if underdog is scoring two goals you will get good profit you get out of the market because if uh, if the favorite comes back with another goal you will not get a chance and at 75 minutes if the score is 2 2 then you will be in full loss so you have to take the loss so i don't want that to happen so if the underdog is scoring two goals before half time immediately cash out if underdog scores three goals we go for full profit then then we wait for the second half for the home team to score one goal before 75 if you have, they are scoring 3-1 and if you are by watching the game you can understand that they won't be able to defeat the underdog go for full profit if they are scoring 3-1 then you can take the profit as well because if the score goes to 3 to draw level, draw rate will again go down so we don't want that to happen if it's a 3-1 you know at the second half at the at the first half it's 3-0 you stay in the market uh, you can you are basically going see you're basically going out at uh, you know underdog is scoring two goals 
before half time that means you stake to the market till half time if underdog scores two goal at half time the score is two zero then you get out of the market if the underdog scores before that three goals you stay in the market hoping for a full profit that the home team won't be able to come back then because three goal lead is a huge lead okay now if the score is zero zero then you have to cash out at 75 minutes when the odds will be around 1.8 to 2.0 or you will be looking at a big loss okay so this is the basic strategy of lay the draw which i go ahead and play nowadays i also play second half lay the draw i do not want to get into conversation that second half lay the draw is more profitable first half is not see this is my concept my point of view which i play i have been in the market for a long long time i know what can happen what cannot this this strategy has given me a profit steady profit as well so you can go with this strategy as well okay if you are looking for any more strategies or anything like that guys please do comment in my comment section i will definitely try to give you the best strategy possible out of that if you are looking for any strategy like under 2.5 or anything which you want you can comment i will research on that i will do you know test on that i will put my money onto it i will check everything and i will let you know what are the best form and tactics for that so today's day was lay the draw from the start and i hope you have understood in case if you have any questions you can comment on my video i will definitely go ahead and help you out thank you very much guys for watching this and please do like and subscribe i need your help i am at very low subscribers many people watch the video they do not subscribe try to understand youtube will not recommend you betting videos they do not promote betting or you know exchange videos betting exchange videos so if you do not like and subscribe you will not be recommended by this kind of videos clicking on one subscribe doesn't harm you very bad you can good, get good strategies like this in the near future as well that's it guys thank you for watching and lots of love and stay safe and stay happy thank you